Hi everyone, Chad here with Purple Car Life. I'm excited to talk to you about this new product today. I've actually had this for a while because I wanted to give it a really good test before I made this video. And I'll say right here in the beginning of the video, great product, but one major downfall to it. So if you wanna see what that major downfall is, stick around at the end of the video and I'll tell you why. I'm about 80% sure I'm gonna send this back. So I'll explain that all at the end of the video. So let's go ahead and get started. Like I said, this isn't a brand new in the box unboxing because I have been using this for a while now. What this is, is the Jackery portable power station, and this is the 300 watt version. This power station does have a two year warranty. This says it's for powering phones, computers, um, drones, monitors or televisions, mini refrigerators, and recharging or using a GoPro. Now I haven't tried it on all those things, but I have tried it on several. And like I said, I'll talk to you about what I liked and disliked about this Jackery. So let's go ahead and pull it out of the box and see what you get. So the first thing you'll see on the top is this nice little packet. I love this. It contains your charging cords. So there is a 110 volt charging that charges into that eight millimeter RCA port. And then there's also a 12 volt charging you can plug into your car. So while you're traveling, you can be charging this as the car's running. And then when you get to your destination, it's charged up and ready to go. Here's what it looks like straight out of the box. It's well packaged. My, mine arrived with no problems. It does have instructions down in the box. So it's a good idea always to look at those instructions before you start using a product. So I really was torn on this Jackery. This is the 300 watt, just came out um, within the last six months, I believe, brand new product from Jackery, and this is the replacement for the 240 watt Explorer. So this is the Explorer 300. You can see here it is 293 watt hours, 300 watts. They say it's a portable power station for power outdoors. Um, and Jackery has been in business since 2012. Another great piece of information right here on the box. There are four ways to charge. You've got the wall charger, which we said was this that charges, and it says that takes about four and a half hours to charge from empty. I found that to be uh, pretty accurate. I haven't run this down completely to empty. Usually once I get down to 20% or so, I like to go ahead and plug it in and get it back charged. I don't like to run any battery below a certain capacity, and I learned that from how the Volt automatically our Chevy Volt doesn't let you discharge the battery too far so that that battery lasts longer. And I try to do the same with all my battery powered products. Car charger says it takes around five hours. So not much difference between the 12 volt car charger and the 110 volt AC plugged into the wall charger. The 60 watt solar panel uh, says around eight hours depending on the weather. So that's gonna depend on where you are and how much sunshine and what the cloud cover is. And then an electric generator, it says around four and a half hours. So just about the same as if you had plugged it into the wall outlet. Now let's take a look at some of the great features about this Jackery 300. There's a lot of reasons I wanted this. And if you watched a video not long ago about the Curtis cab on my John Deere tractor, I showed how I was using this and a little space heater to temporarily heat that cab and it worked great. I wasn't sure if the 300 watt Jackery would be enough, but it actually, plug that little space heater in. I did use it on low and not on high fan. And I set the temperature at about medium, heated the cab up no problem. In fact, it got plenty warm enough in that Curtis cab that after a short amount of time, I just turned that heater off, the heat stayed in the cab and I was in good shape. So, you know, not what this was actually designed for, but a perfect example of how you can take something like this and kind of adapt to your needs. What this was designed for, in my opinion, and I know there's a million uses for it, but it's designed for outdoor, RV camping, tent camping, overlanding, any case where you're gonna be spending the night or spending some time and may need to charge devices or power something. Now let's go over the front panel. You can see this is pretty small. I can put my hand here. It's about the length of my entire hand and not very tall. It does have a display that is kind of your uh, power button. It doesn't actually power anything on, but it does show you the current status. You can see we're currently charged at 100%. I do still have the plastic on here because like I said, I'm about 80% sure that I will be returning this to Jackery. If you wanna use these outputs, you do need to press those buttons. So if I wanted to plug something into the 12 volt, 10 amp output, I would push this button. You can see that 
illuminates that little light. I lift the cap, which is one of the advantages of the 300 over the 240. The Explorer 240 did not have a cap, so that's one difference. The same thing with these USB and USB-C ports. You can see this is a, a speed 60 watt USB-C. These other ones are five volts, two and a half or 2.4 amps. And again, you just push that button, the green light lights up. That tells you those are available for charging. We'll do some samples here in a minute of how much discharge for different devices. I've got an iPhone, an iPad, and then I've also got my laptop out here. And then the same for the 110 volt, push the button. You did hear the fan kick on just for a second there. It is ready to start powering something that's 110 volt. You can see that's 110 volt, 300 watts of pure sine wave. So that's what you want for electronics. You don't wanna take a chance on irregular wave electricity. This is uh, the, the nice pure sine wave and keeps your electronic devices safe. This is the input. So that's where that eight millimeter jack plugs in. And when you're charging, it shows you how much you're charging. And that's where you plug in, you know, we I've shown you the 110 volt and the 12 volt charger. There, of course, if you bought solar panels from Jackery, they have that same connection they plug in right there. Jackery does offer nice 60 watt and 100 watt panels. I've never tried those and more about that at the end. Okay, so let's go ahead and run some tests here. We'll see, we're gonna use the USB output first. I'll go ahead and plug my cord in here so that you can see. And there is currently no incoming or outgoing wattage. We'll plug just a standard iPhone in here. The iPhone does show charging and it is saying that it's taking two watts, four watts. And I'll give you a closer view of that. I'm gonna go ahead and peel this off so we can see a little bit better. I believe I'll be able to stick it back on afterwards. Okay, so there you can see three watts. Let me go ahead and do something on the phone. Maybe to use, yeah, it's gone up to four watts now. So about four watts charging. There's six watts on this iPhone. Now we know that an iPad should take more power than an iPhone. So go ahead and plug it in. You can see we're plugged in there. There's Mackenzie on the four wheeler. This iPad is currently at 80% charge. Let me flip the image for you here. So you can see we are charging. We're at 80%. And on the display, you can see the output is currently at 12 watts. So I love how it's showing you that output in wattages. I love that it's still showing you the full capacity of the battery or whatever your current capacity is and the percentage. Really nice use of that display to show you lots of information. So here we've got the laptop open. You can see we're on the Purple Car Life YouTube page. If you're not currently a subscriber, go ahead and click that subscribe button at this time. Click the like, bu click the like button, it really helps us out and we appreciate you watching Purple Color Life. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the USB portion off. We'll plug this in, but we won't turn it on yet, so you see nothing is discharging, even though it's plugged in. But as soon as we push this button, you will hear the fan kick on, and it'll start powering our laptop. And then you'll see in this display the change. So there you go, you heard the fan just for a second. There's not a lot of draw, it's currently at 46. And the laptop is kind of not really doing much right now, just kind of displaying 69, 76, 67. So somewhere in that 65 to 80 watt range. Now when I am rendering a video, I, like I said, I've had this for a while, and I've noted that when I'm rendering a video, It'll go up to 110 watts uh, when the laptop is running hard, the fans are running, the processors are running, so it does use a lot more electricity. But one of the reasons, and I said this in my other video, that I wanted this Jackery 300 is because we do live in a rural area and we do have power outages. And when I'm working from home, 
on some occasions, I need to make sure that my laptop still works, our internet still works, and we do have auxiliary power and we do have a generator, but when the power blips or brownouts, um, that kind of turns all the internet and the, the computers off for a second. And a device like this is super handy to have to keep those things going. You know, if you're in the middle of a WebEx meeting or, or working on something where you can't afford to lose internet connection or lose the computer, it's great to be plugged into this. So no matter what happens in the house, you still have power on your device. Now you can see I've got multiple devices. I've still got the laptop plugged in. I'm charging a wireless mic. I've got the iPad plugged in. And you can see we're currently drawing 84 watts and our battery's at 98%. The battery does last a long time. Like I said, I've used this for a while, so I know about how long it lasts. I've used the laptop on this Jackery for about four hours with no problem at all. I've used it to charge phones. I've used it to charge uh, batteries for my camera. Here you can see we're charging the wireless microphone. And that's kind of one of the reasons I wanted this Jackery 300 because I figured it was a little bit better than the 240. It charges a little bit faster, has better capacity, and would be better for laptop use. Now, when I'm camping, this would be great, allowing me to not have to run the generator in the camper and still use my laptop or still charge the phones or still charge my camera so that I can make YouTube videos from camp without always running the generator. If you have watched our channel, you know, we do have the Honda 3000 EUIS generator. Love that generator. But sometimes it seems like a shame, you know, if I'm working from camp and I'm gonna be working for eight hours or so to run that generator solid for eight hours. Mostly what it's doing is just powering my laptop. The camper is usually full after only a few hours and it's kind of a lot of wasted noise and gasoline. Whereas the Jackery here, a nice thing about it would be it could run my laptop without running the generator and I could connect it to solar and it could be charging while it's powering. So let's talk a little bit more about that. So you can see here, we've still got those devices plugged in, but let's say I plug this into the wall and then plug it into the Jackery. You'll see a few things happen. This blue light lights up, meaning it's receiving charge. You see up here, we are inputting 76 watts and our battery was at 97. So now it's both giving power out and pulling power in. Now this could be connected to solar, this could be connected in our case to a wall outlet, um, but so cool that you can see on the display, let me hit that button to light it up, that you're gaining wattage while you're outputting wattage. So you can see here, we're all still plugged in. It is still powering my laptop and my iPad and the rechargeable wireless mic as it's charging out of the wall. So really cool, you can see all that going on right there. Now I wanna tell you about pricing and then I'll talk to you about the major flaw that I found with the Jackery. Uh, pricing, this 300 watt, like I say, it's not that old, just came out not long ago and it's currently on sale on Amazon. I'll put a link down below. I don't have any idea how long that sale will last but I did want to mention it. The price is $2.99, but there's a $30 off coupon. So you click the little coupon button and then it gives you the $30 off coupon. Now, like I said, the 300 Explorer did replace the 240 Explorer. And some of the differences are on the 240, you don't get that 60 watt USB-C output. Uh, it does, the 240 watt doesn't quite charge as quickly. Of course, it doesn't have the capacity of the 300 watt and 296 watt hours. And it only has one 110 volt uh, plug. So, and like I said before, doesn't have the little dust cover for the 12 volt outlet. But right now, because the 300's out, Jackery currently has the 240 um, through Amazon on sale $100 off. So that's $199 for the 240 watt Jackery. So I think at a, a $199 price point, that's a really good buy. I just thought spend a little bit more, get a little bit more capacity. I wanted the two 110 volt outlets and I wanted to try the, the newest Jackery to see how it went. Now, if 240 or 300 watts aren't enough for you, there is a 500 watt Jackery that you can imagine would be just a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier, but a little bit more capacity. That one is currently also $100 off. I'll put links to all these down below, Amazon affiliate links. If you do decide to buy one of these, we'd appreciate it if you use our link down below. It helps the channel out a little bit, it doesn't cost you any extra. So that's $100 off for $4.99 for the 500 watt Jackery. 
And then there is also a thousand watt Jackery that is currently $100 off. I'll put a link down below on that one also. Now I said in the beginning of this video, and I truly did mean there is a major downfall to the Jackery. The downfall is not in the design, it's not even in the operation. The downfall is in the company. And my problem with Jackery is, uh, you know, when you make these videos, you wanna say honest and good reviews and information about what I would be looking for. And one of the things I'm looking for is, I've got a 200 watt ZAMP solar panel that I would be using to charge this. The ZAMP connection is different than the Jackery connection. So I wanted Jackery's opinion on using an available adapter and the 200 watt ZAMP panels to charge my Jackery 300. I also had a couple other questions about the Jackery. So I sent an email to Jackery about three weeks ago, almost a month ago, asking those questions. Zero response, nothing in the first week. And after about a week and a half, I wrote back and said, hey, just so you know, we are Purple Collar Life. We do have a YouTube channel. I will be doing a review on this channel. I'd really like to get these answers before I do the review. Still, to this day, no response. So to me, that's a major flaw in the Jackery, is that if you do have an issue or you do have a question and you reach out to Jackery, they do not respond. So I don't know if the company has simply gotten too big, too popular at this point, and they don't have time to answer questions or what the issue is, but to me, that's a major turnoff. If I've got a product and I can't reach out to the manufacturer and ask questions and get responses, uh, to me, that's, that's like I said, why I'm 80% sure, even though I like the product, I like the design, I think it's got a lot of great benefits and certainly would be useful for us in our RV camping style. There's also a lot of other manufacturers. You know, Jackery might be the probably number one name in portable power stations right now, but there's a lot of other manufacturers also. So maybe we'll give one of those a try, see if they're a little bit more responsive to questions. Um, it's just kind of my two cents on what I think about a company that doesn't respond to questions, especially, you know, you should respond to all questions that pertain to your products when someone has a legitimate question. But especially when I noted, I'm gonna be doing a video review on this and I'd like to have these answers, no response. Hopefully you like this video and if you're considering the 300, like I said, I, I do believe it's a great product. I just have concerns about the Jackery brand not being responsive. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it or if it helped you out at all. We'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to Purple Collar Life. We're all about outdoor living, rural living, RV camping, lawn mowing, chainsaws, firewood, tractors, and what life is like here in rural Pennsylvania. So once again, thanks for watching. We'll see you again the next time.